Welcome to Yarn Creations by Lana. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change yarn colors within a pattern. If it calls for you to change the yarn color at the end or the beginning of a row, that's very simple. All you need to do is cut your old yarn. I leave a tail about this long so that you have some to weave in. And then I tie the other yarn to that right up by the base of the stitch and proceed with your pattern. If it's in the middle of a row, it's a little bit trickier. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do that and the looks that you will accomplish with each way. I've picked up a couple of different colors so that hopefully you can see easily between the two of them when I show you how to change. Like I was telling you in the introduction, if you want to change colors at the beginning or the end of a row, you simply just cut this thread here and then I would take this one tie a little knot right here at the base of the stitch and then proceed with the pattern. But let me show you how to do it if you need to change colors in the middle of a row. I've done a small little piece here with just some basic um, single crochet. So let me show you the two different methods that you can use for changing colors. One way is to just take your work, flip it over so that your thread shows on the back, take your new color, and you're just going to tie a little knot, just like you do at the end of the row. Just tie a knot around it and pull it up nice and close to your work. And then you're going to make sure all of your short pieces are tucked in the back, pick up your new yarn, and you're going to continue on in a single crochet. That is a very easy way to do it. But it gives you a different look and neither of them are really a bad look it's just depending on what you like i'm going to show you i'm going to insert some pictures so that i can show you exactly what i'm talking about here is the first way you can see that it looks like the green almost overlaps on top of the light brown color that i have here let me show you the second way the second way to attach your yarn is to insert your hook as if you were going to do a single crochet stitch, pull your yarn through. Now, instead of looping it around and pulling it through again, you're going to drop that one, pick up your new one, your new color, and you're going to pull that through the two loops. Then you're going to drop the short end, pick up the long end, and you're going to continue on with single crochet. And I will show you how that looks. Now, even though this is a different way of doing it, I still would tie the very back of it. I just think it gives it a more secure feeling, especially if I'm making something that is going to get played with, with um, by some of the little ones, or if it's gonna get a lot of love, or even blankets, because they can pull loose after a while. Here is what it looks like when you do that. It looks like a more complete green and a more, and then the, there's no overlapping of the green onto the brown. I'll insert a picture here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now I'll show you how to do this in a half double and what it's going to look like. Here are the half double crochet. So let's do a half double. And then all you do is turn your work over. This is the first way to do it. Tie that yarn on the back. Remember, always remember to leave a little bit of a tail because you're going to want to weave it in when you're done with your project. Okay, I've tied it and I've pulled it up close to the base of my stitch. And you're going to just continue on in a half double. And this is the first method. And I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like when you just tie it on the back and continue on. Now I'll show you the second method. All right, here's your half double. Now you're going to wind your yarn around, insert your hook, and pull it through. Now instead of pulling it, in, wrapping it around and pulling it through again, 
you're going to pick this one up. I make like a little loop over your hook and pull it through all three. Then you're going to drop the short ones, grab that long piece, and you're going to continue on with your pattern. Give you a close up of this one as well. And there you go. We'll try it one more with a double crochet. Now we have our double crochet. So with the first method again, you're going to flip it over, attach the new color yarn, just with a simple knot. Like I said, I usually take the old yarn, hold it up, and scoot that knot up as close to your work as you can. Okay? And then you're going to start with the new yarn, and we're going to do a double crochet. This is look one. Let's try that one again. Okay, there we go. See, with the first look, it just appears. You could see the green yarn just overlaps one on top of the brown. It isn't a big deal, but I prefer the second look. It's just a little bit cleaner, in my opinion. Let's try the second one. Now I'll show you the second way to do it on a double crochet. You're going to wrap your yarn around, insert it into your stitch, pull your yarn through, wrap it around again and pull it through two. Instead of wrapping it around and pulling it through the last two, you're going to pick up your yarn, put it onto your crochet hook, and pull it through the last two. Then you're going to proceed with your pattern. And these are just double crochet. You basically do the same thing if it's a triple crochet. Remember, you only add the new yarn on the very last time you pull it through the loop. And you'll be able to tell if you accidentally add it too soon. But there's how it looks on a double crochet. It just takes a little bit of practice. Once again, thank you for watching my video. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you're notified for any future videos that I put out. And also hit that like button and feel free to share this video. Until next time, happy crocheting.